Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 2 Dynamics. The section is 2.L, Hooke's Law for the spring. Here's the scenario. Consider a spring and a rubber band. Both have elastic properties, which means as their length increases, they exert increased amount of force. Let stretch length represent the difference between the spring of the rubber band's length when it exerts force and its length while it exerts no force. Carlos suggests that both the spring and rubber band exerts a force that is directly proportional to the string's length. Directly proportional means linear relationship one, one to one. Here's some notes on a simple harmonic motion. And in equilibrium is when the object's at rest, nothing is being moved. If you displace this object like to the right with an X amount of force, there's gonna be a restorative force going back towards the equilibrium. In this situation, we call this Hooke's law. And the force is defined by negative kx. k is the stiffness of the spring and x is the displacement. And the exponent in it here is 1. Here are some notes for it further if you would like to read some more. So here you're going to design a experiment for this. The best part is I have it already set up. This is how in theory it should look like. On the right is how it will look like in your lab. I'm now going to write the procedure. You're going to hang the spring and rubber band, each from a hook on a standing vertical down. Measure the original length of each object without having mass hanging from it. This is for the spring, and this is going to be for the rubber band. Then after that, you're going to put a mass. So this is with mass. This is with mass. And there's going to be a displacement, and we call that displacement the stretch length. which is labeled by the delta y, that is the change in the length. Likewise here. You're going to do these for different masses, and you're going to get the delta y. You're going to do 10 different trials to minimize error. How would you measure and, and analyze the graph to base on that behavior to see if it's correct or not? I wrote that I'm going to make a graph for the force of gravity input versus the stretch length. That's going to be the output. There are going to be two graphs, one for the spring and one for the rubber band. I'm going to draw a line of best fit. It's going to have a direct proportionality if it is linear, which should look something like this. And when it is not directly proportioned, like if it's quadratic, it will look something like this. We would like something like this to show directly proportion. If it shows something else like this, it's not directly proportion. So Carlos collected the data measurement. I'm now going to graph it. What I just have here is the graph of the stretch length versus the force applied for the string. And I should look and it looks like it is linear. This is for the spring and it looks very linear. Now I'm going to graph the rubber band in a different color. This is a graph for the rubber band. I would try to draw a line of best fit, but it's not going to be a line of best fit because it looks like it goes up quadratically. Now we can write some behavior based on this. I would say that the spring behaves linearly. The, the spring length increases proportionally to the force applied done by gravity on the hanging mass. 
as the stretch length of the spring increases the fourth the force applied also increases please understand the force of apply here is done by the force of gravity the calculation for this would be mass times gravity And the stretch length is just how much it stretches by. For the rubber band, we would say the rubber band does not behave linearly. It looks quadratic in nature because it's going up rapidly. As the stretch length increases, the force applied done by gravity increases dramatically. This should make sense if we look at the equation for Hooke's law for a string we see that it has a, purport, a directly proportional to this displacement. So this should be Hooke's law and the, spr and the spring should behave like Hooke's law, exactly like that. This experiment design proves uh, Hooke's law in relationship to being linear. There you go. Those are all your solutions for 2.0.